just a short video to show my 2020 lockdown winter project. This is my replica of a Russian Soyuz capsule digital clock known as the 744H. It's very nearly full size. I used two Hammond, they used to be called Eddystone die cast boxes bolted back to back. I've purposely made this quite heavy. I've put over a kilo of lead in here. If anyone picks this up I wanted to add that extra sense of drama that this is a heavily built piece of Russian technology from the last century. On the back of the case I've tried to replicate the housing for the X1 data connector. It's also a convenient position to place the ceramic patch antenna for the GPS receiver and the giveaway mini USB connector for the Arduino that controls it all. Right, I'll get things set up and we'll turn it on. This is the power switch. Up is on. Unlike the original Soyuz clock, mine will go through a bit of a boot up display dance and then the upper display should show the time and the lower display on the original version would show the stopwatch but on my version it will show the date. There we are, it's up and running GPS time 15 15 and 49 seconds and it's the 16th of February. The ticking sound times out after a few seconds because it gets on your nerves. This switch originally used for setting the time is now used for turning the ticking effect back on. This switch was originally used for setting the stopwatch but here it just adds or subtracts time to compensate for British summer time or daylight saving time. The centre button was normally used for actually setting times for the other two switches uh, but here we use it for changing the function of the lower display. We can turn it off like the original clock and we can turn the stopwatch on and then the lower button in the centre is used for its original purpose of starting, stopping and resetting the stopwatch. So there we are, my version of a Soyuz capsule 744H digital clock. Spasiba the brass motor. Spasiba za press. Spasiba za press. Spasiba za. Oh, God. <laughs>